something today. My playground has been turned into landfill. My fields have been completely over. My life has become almost unbearable. stand for the firm hand of fairness, toughness, and prosperity. Screwing me, screwing you, uh-huh. <laughs> and our next candidate? Meh. We 
me and you, Kip, are not anti-Europe. We are merely anti the EU. Oh, and all the ragheads as well. It's fine to murder millions of them in their beds when we invade their countries for oil. But please, don't use racist language. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. I'm sure there's something ugly waiting for you in the tool shed. <laughs> now we're with all Democrats. <laughs> we liberals plow a middle path. We aid communication, a firm shaking of the hands. We stand for reason, understanding. Through coalition, power we command. <sighs> sure you do, super now. One, two, three, let's ridicule the Greens. <laughs> Politics is a puppet show for the military industrial complex. Politics is a puppet show for the military industrial complex. Politics is a puppet show for the military industrial complex. Oh my god! Oh, love me. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. I am the greatest. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Who's the chip? I see you, dweller from the shadows. You think I cannot sense you because you stem from the world between worlds, the abyss of eternal laments. I see you, foul manipulator, puppet master of the human heart, gorging yourself on their misplaced rage. I see you and I say to you now, nay, I command you to flee. <laughs> To leave humanity to dream. I command you to flee this planet now. Let the planet's wounds heal. I command you to flee this planet now. Flee this planet now. Flee this planet now. I'm getting good at this. Here I go again. My lady, where have you been? For Michael has left us to wait for you, to escort you into the next level of the dream. What is this feeling I sense in my bones? To reclaim sweet honeysuckle Eden, return what was stolen. I have a special gift to help bestow, forgiveness on this unholy rift. To divide and rule a miscreant's tool that festers like a cancer from birth and through school, man against woman, woman against man. Spirit of water, release these emotions, energy in motion, so that they understand the union of two apparent opposites. Embrace the power that they command. Embrace the power that they command. Embrace the power that they command. You're right, love. Where have you been? What? I've just been out with my mates. You know, I used to find you fascinating when we first met. Those nights of passion. Ugh, I swore I'd never forget. But now we're locked in this prison. Of bitterness, grief, strife and regret. I scream at you because you don't listen. Why are you deaf to my fears? Yes, you're oh so manipulative tugging on my heartstrings with those magnificent tears. You bastard! You insensitive, callous bastard! How dare you! 
How dare you? How dare you? Oh, I'm going out. Ah! He switched off. And I'm still brutally surprised. The wound has been festering. And no matter who or how we cauterize, the loss of feeling, the ever encroaching numbness that threatens the horizon, I'll rail against it until my dying moment. Oh, I just want to reach out and touch his soul. Yet, even now, his memory is fading. Oh, sovereignty. I beseech thee, I hold out my hands. Give me the key to release him or kill me right now for I do not want to live in a world without love. I hear you, sister. It is great the cross you have to bear. Before you can heal the wound in his heart, you must heal the tear in your own soul. You must face your own personal darkness, confront your most bitterest of foes. Oh, Sister Sovereignty, please tell me, who is this enemy I must overcome? When Sovereignty was torn from you and you were severed from the universal flow, you were forced to compete for limited attention. Fear begets loss, begets lust, begets the need to control. Every defeat, every slight she bore in silence, forced to lay low. She dwells buried deep within you, cunning, bitter and savage. Your enemy, your nemesis, your shadow. Then let me confront this woman, this enemy who is so out of my control. I am prepared to meet my destiny. I am not afraid. I will prove you so. It is not me you need to prove it to. It's yourself you must unify. You may not be afraid now, but soon you will be. Oh, soon you will be. I am ready. If it means I can finally break through to him, hand in hand through life, we will dance. We will sing. Oh, I want to hold him close, share the secrets of love and romance, nail my colours to the mast, roll the dice in the game of chance. I'm prepared, Sister Sovereignty. I will look my shadow in the eye, and if my love is not strong enough, then I will gladly die. For I do this for love. You have my respect, my lady. Now close your eyes. I will call forth your shadow. Reconciliation. You liar. You slut. You slanderer. You hypocrite. I, I understand your pain. And I wish to make amends. I know I pushed you away. Treated you callously. We were supposed to be friends. I know that now. But I was a mere child. You were a threat to my survival. Malformed. Twisted and wild. I suppressed you because I wanted to be a good girl, lovely and well liked. But I realize now you are in me. I am you. And I love you. I thank Sister Sovereignty for this startling insight. <laughs> love! 
You speak of love? That's so easy for you to say. You are Mummy's favourite. Daddy's little girl. You are the apple of their eye. The centre of their world. That was never good enough for you, was it? Their love could never be enough. You're a spoiled, filthy brat. How dare you speak to me about love? I hear you, sister. I know you had it rough. I'm listening, sister. I know you have suffered enough. Sister? You call me sister? Oh, how your words make me wretch. I was with you as you grew, although you'd like me to forget. From an adolescent into womanhood, a rose so beautiful in bloom, milking men for their lust. Your ladylike demeanour would make them gladly swoon. I watched silently as you painted your face on like a clown, as you made yourself sick, trying so desperately hard not to pile on the pounds. Secretly, you sought my counsel, plotting your sexual strategy. <laughs> you know how to get what you want, so beautiful as to ensnare yourself, my sweet lord. Everything is fair to you, isn't it, in the game of love and war? But deep down inside, we both know you are a fraud. And when your sweet prince brutalised you with his hands up smothering our screams, no matter how hard you scrubbed, some places within us will never be clean. But did you ever think about me? No, you didn't, did you? Did you? Did you? I was a mere child. A child? A child? Your words make me sick! I remember you as an adult. When you saw fit, you'd play the harlot. Leaving me with the fear, the regret and the guilt for that fleeting pleasure. In that place between your thighs, masking the bruises. With your pretty girl, shit-eating, sugar-coated smile. Now bars block all entry to the true nature of your womb. All those abortions and miscarriages turned this body into my tomb. So I weave these words of spite, of malice, of hate. I will stalk you in your dreams and I will fight you tooth and nail to seal your fate. My wish is to destroy you, to drown you in the bitter end. Ah! Let go of me, let go of me, my love must remain strong. They loved you more than me! No, no, you want to kill me, I must push you down. Suppress, suppress, suppress. Come, sweet sister, for you never stood a chance. Your insecurity was easy meat for the advertising man. The image of what it is to be a woman has been brutally betrayed. 
pumped full of body dysmorphia and so publicly displayed. Hold your shadow, wrap her in your arms, integrate the spirit of the hated despised. Open your arms to the cast out, abandoned little child. I feel like you've come home to me. Now I feel completely whole. My senses no longer fight with me like wild horses, out of my control. Oh, I hold you to my heart, for we are one now. It is divine light shining through me, that cast on my own shadow. Oh, I'm ready, Sister Sovereignty, to play my part in the master plan, for it is the human race's destiny is to reunite woman with man. Then reach out to him. <laughs>